This is going to be the largest reorganization of the Department of Veterans Affairs since its establishment. We're calling it My VA because that's what we want veterans to think about. We want them to think of our department as embracing them, as giving them uh, a warm hug, a place they can go to get the care they need, a department that's totally veteran-centric, looking for only one outcome, which is good outcomes for veterans. And it's fair to say this is the result of the, of the scandals, the, 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 the problems that have developed over these past several years. Well, this is the result of my 42 trips to different VA operations, 22 different cities, visits to eight medical schools, talking to thousands of employees, thousands of veterans. I learned a lot. We've had teams of people around the organization from the bottom to the top of the organization working on this reorganization, and today we're announcing the major planks. All right, we're going to go through all that, but let's go through some of the other headlines uh, of, of what's going on right now. You immediately want to fire 35 uh, workers at the Department of Veterans Affairs, but another 1,000 you want to get rid of as well. Is that right? Well, what we've said is that we're taking disciplinary action against those individuals who violated our values. Our values are represented in this acronym, I CARE. The I is integrity. And in the case where we've had people violate the value of integrity, we are taking disciplinary action. Uh, that disciplinary action uh, over the last year has involved about 5,600 employees. Uh, some of those are still active. And we're in the process of following that to its, its conclusion. We're acting aggressively, expeditiously, and consistent with the law. But you're very frustrated because it, unlike the private sector, and you were uh, the chairman of Procter & Gamble for a long time, unlike uh, P&G, to fire a government worker is not that easy. Well, there's a process that needs to be followed. And it's not all that different than the private sector. In fact, uh, one of the things I did is I put out a statement to all employees about something I call sustainable accountability, which is we should have day-to-day -day feedback with our employees and, uh, and if we're supervising our employees well, our values should not be value, uh, violated. Sharon Hellman, uh, she's, the, uh, direct, she's the director of the Phoenix VA, and you saw all of our reporting, other news organizations, but largely CNN's reporting that people were waiting, vets were waiting for way too long to get service. She's still on the government payroll, is that right? Uh, what we do is when, when there's an indica indication that there could be a violation of one of our values, we take that person and we move them out of the oper operation right away because we don't want any harm to occur to our veterans. She's no longer the director, but she's still getting paid. Uh, she's at, no longer in our operation, but she's still on the government payroll. Because let me interrupt for a second. Jeff yeah. Miller, who is the chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs, he put out a statement the other day saying, this isn't complicated. If VA has the evidence needed to fire Sharon Hellman, which it says it does, it should fire her. Keeping Hellman and other Phoenix executives on the payroll when the department wants to fire them is nothing more than a waste of taxpayer dollars. Wolf, it's obviously not in my interest to take a long time in... Uh, disciplining people who have violated our values. As a result, I'm following the law. If, if a member of Congress wants me to follow a different procedure, they need to pass a different law. The law says that uh, with this level of an employee, what's called a senior executive service employee, I have to propose a disciplinary action. That disciplinary action gets judged by uh, a, a judicial process. And then, uh, only then, does it get resolved. I need to make sure every single one of these results in a positive disposition consistent with my proposal. Again, if Congress wants me to follow a different procedure, they've got to pass a different law. So, the only thing the new law did was it, ha it took the appeal time and cut it in half. That's the only thing the new law did.